Now, let's go to a completely different ball game here, a, a different type of ball game, and that would be San Diego State 20, Air Force 14. This is nine straight wins in the series for San Diego State, and they they shut Air Force down, brother. I mean, just shut them down. I, I was I this was another one of my bets. I had San Diego State plus three or three and a half, and felt good about it because. You had the number one rushing defense going up against the number one rushing offense, and while Air Force's efficiency as far as passing the ball looked great, they don't do it all that often, and they only did it in situations where they knew they had an advantage, right? And in this spot, there was no situation where they would have an advantage throwing the football, and it led to an interception that that turned into points. Yeah, I so I had this one on. I didn't watch all of it because I will tell you, Sometimes these games, when there's all this scoring going on in some of these other games, they can be a little boring when it's just, you know, three yards in a cloud of dust. And that's exactly what this game was. Um, this said the second most impressive stat of the weekend. Uh, which one are we talking about? 81-yard punt. Okay, okay. An 81-yard uh, punt from your end zone. Did, did you expect anything else from these two kind of teams, though? Really? No, but but when you're punting from your end zone, you usually don't get a chance to boom it because you're afraid of the safety. You got to catch it. You got to get it out quick because you can't get blocked because that's touchdown or a save. Like like there are too many things that go wrong, so you never see great punts from from an end zone. True, you see great punts from the twenty yard line or whatever. The fact that he punt the thing from the end zone way to like the eleven yard line that's insane. That's in, that's insane. It was it was awesome. It was awesome. Yard punt. Pretty Air Force uh, ran eleven more plays. They went three out of four on fourth down, but only four out of sixteen on third down. They, I mean, I don't even know what to say. Like it, they had seven less was, penalties. Like, so I have a question. Do you think Nevada and Air Force both have head coaches that are getting calls about jobs right now? Right. We know that those conversations are being had. Their names are getting thrown around. Do you think that had anything to do with that, or do you think they just played teams that got them on a good day? I think they played teams that they got on on good days. Okay. Right. I, I think Air Force is a good team, uh, but yeah. stylistically, they don't match up well with San Diego State. San Diego State can stop the run, man. And when you don't get, like, Air Force relies on getting that running game going. And they ran 48 times for 192 yards yesterday, only had one touchdown. Their longest run was 16 yards. It was not... You know, they only averaged four yards of rush, which is still okay. But yeah. when you expect a lot more and you don't get it and you can't get comfortable, I mean, they were down 20 to nothing before they really got rolling. And sure. I, and this was this was a game that was set up for San Diego State. I mean, it just, it, it, don't do anything to beat yourself, really. They had 10 penalties, San Diego State did, for 61 yards. Well, when you're San Diego State and you get up 20 to nothing on one of these teams, it's over. With, because your defense and because of the style of football you play, it's really hard for those teams to come back and score on you. Because yeah. you just don't give up big plays. You don't give up chunk plays. So, yeah, this was a money line play for me as well. I hit that. It was so good. I, I had, had a pretty decent day yesterday. But yeah. No, I had same here. Same here. So, it was It was interesting. It was, a, it was a fun game. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.